Hello again. This is Grandma Sandy. Yes, I'm back to read for my grandson and all the boys and girls out there that want to listen from the little big book for grandmothers. By now, you know the edited the editors. They are Lena Tabori and Alice Wong. Thank you for putting this book together. It's beautiful. And this story is called The Man, His Son, and His Donkey. Once upon a time, a man and his son decided to sell their donkey at a fair in the neighboring town. The three had not walked far when they passed a group of young girls who were standing around a well. A well would be where you would get water, bring it up in a bucket for drinking or cleaning. One girl said, Look at those silly fools. They let their donkey set the pace while they march by its side. Why don't they ride to town? The man heard this remark and not wanting to be thought of as a silly fool, he placed his son on the donkey's back. They had not gone much farther when they passed a little country inn where a group of old men were walking together outside. There, said one of the men, that just proves what I was saying. The young have no respect for the old. Look at that young boy riding without a care in the world while his father has to walk by his side. Get down, you bad boy, and let your father ride a while. Well, the boy was truly his father's son, and he didn't like anyone calling him names, so he jumped down from the donkey and insisted that his father take his place. They continued on this way for a while until they came across a group of women, each with a child on her hip. Isn't that just like a man? One woman sneered. He sits up there like he's the king while his poor son can hardly keep up. The man and his son, they glanced at each other sheepishly and then the man pulled his son up to sit by his side on the donkey. And they rode this way until they were almost to town and met up with a young man who said, pardon my asking, but is that your donkey? The man told him that it was and the young man frowned. He said, if that were my donkey, I would not overload his back like that. You and your son appear to be healthy and strong. You could as easily carry your donkey as make him carry you. Well, the man and his son felt embarrassed now that they had been so selfish. They immediately jumped down off the donkey found a pole to balance the animal on, and they carried the donkey that way until they got to the town's bridge. A small crowd of young boys and girls had gathered to watch the donkey being carried by its masters. They began to laugh loudly as they had never seen such a strange sight, and the noise startled the donkey so that he kicked himself free of the pole and the unfortunate, the poor animal. He fell into the stream and he sank down in the water. Well, the man and his son could do nothing but return home, poorer than when they'd started. And on the way home, the man told his son, if we try to please everyone, we please no one. And here's a picture from the book and it's such a beautiful illustration of the boy on the top, the man by his side. And do you see the puppy dog down below? And once again, the moral of the story, if we try to please everyone, we end up pleasing no one. From my heart to yours, see you next time.